flow again. You wanted to discuss sub-portfolio rates of return, isn't that correct? Yes. You've convinced me that when the client controls the cash flows, time waiting makes sense in order to judge the manager, and when the manager controls external cash flows, money waiting is appropriate. I also accept the value in using money waiting even when the client controls these flows, in order to show how the portfolio or client is doing, that is, to show the impact of the cash flow decisions, size, timing, and direction, inflows versus outflows. You are correct on all points. Thank you. But now I am confused about sub-portfolio returns, as I understand that most firms use time waiting. This doesn't make sense to me. Since the managers typically control these internal flows, so why would time waiting be used? Your observations and conclusions are accurate. Let us first come to an agreement, at least you and I, that money waiting would make more sense. Agreed. Since time waiting is used to eliminate the impact of flows when these flows are controlled by others, and money waiting is used to capture the impact of the flows, then it only makes sense that money waiting be used for sub-portfolio returns. Great, we agree. As to why firms typically use time waiting, there is really no clear answer. It is my belief that since in the 1960s and into the late 1970s and even early 1980s, many firms only showed returns at the portfolio level. When they decided to introduce sub-portfolio performance, it only seemed logical to them that they should use the same formula that they were using at the portfolio level. It's interesting that literature from the 1960s and 1970s often refer to this topic, and all agree that money waiting should be used. However, since in the late 1970s many firms were either unaware of these early air ideas or forgot about them, they made the mistake of adopting time waiting. And as you would expect, the returns that are produced generally miss the impact of the internal flow decisions of the manager. Why do you say, generally? Good catch. I qualified my statement because when firms use formulas such as modified deeds, they are actually using a money-weighted method. And so at least for the month in which the return is run, we see a money-weighted result, as the monthly returns are linked, however, we obtain an approximation to the true time-weighted return which is less than ideal. Is there any possibility that firms will fully adopt money waiting at the sub-portfolio level? Yes. In fact, several of our clients have already adopted money weighted methods, and more are appreciating the benefits this approach has. Thanks. As before, this has been helpful. I'm glad to hear that, and you're very welcome. When we meet next, can we discuss how linking turns a money weighted method into a time weighted one? Yes. Great idea. Thanks.